Hello everyone and welcome back to Untamed Chaos. So as I talked about last week, this week I want to start working on moving into the tower, getting things ready there, and so on. So in this episode I want to start working on the ME system. I set it up a while back, but since then I haven't really touched it much, and there's a lot of stuff I'll need before I can really use it in the tower. So yeah, before I get into that, well, one, I actually started recording when the sun was actually where my crosshairs was. It rises so quickly. And uh, yeah, I had to do a few takes of the intro. Anyway, so uh, yeah, there are a few things I did between uh, the previous episode and now. The first is I made more fertilized dirt for the cacti and the sugarcane there. You might also notice that I uh, moved the pathway over a bit just so it was centered a bit better because I think I commented before how it was one space on the farms but it was like two sp or three spaces from uh, uh, the pathway here so it just looked a bit off. So rather than trying to remove the whole farms or move this, I decided it was just easier to move the pathway over. So yeah. So, aside from that, uh, there's a few other things I just did. I don't know, I really didn't do much since the last episode. Uh, I did expand this. I'm not sure if I mentioned it in the last episode because I actually did before then. I just might not have brought it up because I didn't have much of a reason to. And uh, I did sort all the chests of stuff into all these chests. It took a while. And, uh, yeah, the one thing to know is that I got so many potions, I had to make a no new potion chest. This is all, like, the extended potions, uh, level 2 potions, and that sort of stuff. Down here we have a new chest full of all the potions that aren't max tier or damaging ones like poison that because I don't really use poison or such much so uh yeah I need a better potion sorting system and uh I pretty much just moved all the chest over so this has the swords this has the blocks this has the other stuff because the chest that was originally there now that one didn't have much of a use because I only put the gifts in it so uh yeah aside from that I think everything's more or less the same in all these chests so yeah, but pretty much I made use of the clipboard because there's a lot of things I'll need for the ME system here. And, oh, I don't think I ever mentioned it, but I put a hopper here to automate uh, the inscribing. Because it'll put stuff in here or here. Or one of the slots, it would actually put the stuff in. So, yeah, that helped because I was preparing some stuff off camera, I think. Because pretty much I originally had this concept for an M, uh, an ME system, a Planet Energy 62 episode, whatever you want to call it, uh, a few weeks back. Actually, when I was playing out last week's, originally it was going to be the episode that went up on Christmas, but I said, um, ME system isn't very Christmassy, so I should do something else. So I kind of delayed it till this week. But uh, yeah, I don't think I'm really going to move into the tower like anytime soon. It's still the same as last time you saw that. I really haven't touched it much. Besides uh, doing some Thomcraft preparation there, pretty much moving all those gold coins and such into the Thomcraft tower. I also did exchange some. I guess I could just mention that now. So pretty much I exchanged uh, some gold coins for Thomium and Diamonds. So, yeah. Not that big of a deal. But, uh, yeah. So I have a checklist of all the stuff I have to do, and I started on page two. Great. But uh, pretty much the first thing I need to do is get the crypto... Crystal growth accelerators up, because without them, making pure crystals is a pain, and I do need more pure crystals. I also would like acceleration cards, because uh, I can put, um, I did test this off camera, these can hold up to three cards, they don't stack, it's just uh, three single items, yeah. So acceleration cards will make the inscriber go much quicker, it doesn't work on the charger unfortunately, although I did also charge up a lot of stuff. I can pretty much just show you the chest of all the stuff I had prepared I guess, but uh, yeah. Also I need to make storage cells, uh, running back and forth here. So storage cells are the stuff that go in here, I only have one 1k. I need a lot more if I want to fit my entire chest of stuff into a few of these, so yeah. And in addition to that, uh, Every chest in a cell workbench, those will allow me to manage the storage cells a bit better in my drives, whatever you want to call them. Storage cells, ME drives, pretty much the same thing, I think. Or I think one goes inside the other, technically. Is this got a drive? No, the thing's got a drive, and the things inside are called a cell. Either way. So this will allow me to better manage both of them, I believe. Uh, crafting terminal is... Um, I keep going back and forth. Crafting terminal's like this, but has the crafting grid in it, which is very useful. And uh, let's see. A uh, controller allows me to have more stuff in the network, which I might need depending on how much stuff I add on at first. But I'm pretty much going straight for like a full on enemy system, not like some of the super advanced stuff like spatial and uh, item crafting, auto crafting sort of stuff. But it's going to be a pretty high end enemy system from the start. Import bus is needed so I can pull items from chests into an enemy system, like an ender chest. And uh, this is some other stuff I'd like to do. Uh, wireless terminal, wireless access point, and wireless boosters, so I could hopefully use the enemy system anywhere around the tower. Height might be a bit of an issue there, but 
it's something else I want to try. Uh, portable cell, it's kind of like a backpack. Like you take one of those uh, um, storage cells and you can carry it around and access it from anywhere. I don't know, it seemed kind of cool. It might not be useful because I have golden bags and the other backpacks. Uh, networking tools, kind of like just like a debugging or kind of like a rent sort of thing just to tell you how things are working. And storage monitors are just a visual thing. I don't know, if I don't get to some of this this episode, I might just like make them off camera and not put them in another episode because like I said, this stuff can get very grindy. But, uh, yeah, we come over here, uh, I forgot to even move the chest, but, uh, you have a whole bunch of charged Sirtis, a whole bunch of Sirtis, Fluix, uh, even Fluix blocks, those are all the pure crystals I made, I was starting to put these, uh, seeds in the world to make a whole bunch more pure crystals, but as you see, they only got to 1% when I was like, okay, I cannot do this anymore, I need to make, uh, the growth accelerators, so now let me just, uh, look up crystal growth. So pretty much how these work is you need three of them, I believe. I also did make more quartz grass, or not three of them, four of them. So if I just grab this, uh, let's see, it needed the glass and the ME cable. I think I do have some ME cable spare. Oh yeah, I have a lot of ME cable spare. Also, I don't think I really made much more of that sort of stuff, or like these are just left over from last time. And uh, let's see, quartz glass, I think it's in here, yep. And uh, fluix block was the last thing. Okay, so if I take this stuff and auto craft or any eye craft should work. Okay, so I think that's how you make it. Now, I think I'll just set this up off camera or I'll come over here just so you can see it. But I think it's a bit tricky how it works. Uh, uh, these need power and you need to place them just right so they work. I have seen how they work before, so I think it's like that. Okay, so it is getting power. The device is online. Okay, so I did do that right. These are all online. So now what I do is uh, I need a bucket of water and the seeds. So this is something that still could take a while, like most of the episode a while, or I'll have to cut in the episode. I don't know. This might be a lot of like cutting me, getting stuff ready, coming back sort of thing. And uh, I think I have a bucket of water in here, other than grabbing it out of, uh, well, here. So, uh... Just for uh, the sake of showing you, here's my normal water pool that I use for this sort of stuff. I throw it in there, and uh, let's come back in a few seconds. So you put the water in here for the seeds to grow, so I think this is how you use it. Uh, you can't interact with these blocks at all. So yeah, they had to be placed vertically like this and not horizontally, but this is like the max setup you can have, I believe. So let's check on these. They were at 1% before, and now they're still at 1%. So now let's try with this and see how quick it goes i hope it's a lot quicker but pretty much this will make this go is it really going quick or is it just moving and jumping a lot i don't know i can't tell i can definitely see like particles around them so i don't know let's uh, check them now what oh my god that is so much quicker they went up 10 percent in that short time wow so, uh, we'll definitely have to come back and check them, uh, pretty soon. So, uh, the, I'll have to move that thing somewhere else, too. I don't know, for the moment, like I said, uh, once I move to the tower, this whole room's gonna be gone. And I'm gonna take all the Emmy stuff with me when I leave. So, this will probably have a more permanent setup in the tower once I move it there. But, uh, yeah. So, acceleration card. So, this is an advanced card, which is made like this, with the Fluix Crystal. That's pretty easy, actually. Oh, and also, uh, Fluix block is four crystals, not nine, in case you were wondering. I forgot that myself. So this needs a diamond and a few calculation press, which is a printed press, a printed silicon, and that, which is... Is that really pure Sirtis? Well, good thing I have that going to get a whole bunch more pure Sirtis. I think that's the problem. Uh, this whole th or the calculation press need a lot, and printed silicon. So I need, uh, let's see. Uh... Inscriber press and the other press. I'll just grab that stuff and uh, start that stuff preparing and then cut to when we make that stuff, I guess. So, yeah. Okay, so I'm ready to start making the calculation presses here. So I just need to put the redstone here. And unfortunately, I have to make this before I get the acceleration card so I can make the acceleration cards. But, uh, yeah. The thing is, you can only put one of each item in to this. So that's why I have the hopper there. I'm not sure if the hopper is going to work for this, though. Like, if it knows what slot each goes in. And let's find out. Yeah, it only puts it into that one, I guess. So, that's a bit of a bummer. So, I do have to manually do this still. So, that's uh, annoying, to say the least. Or, I wish it could stack. But, uh, the other thing. I want to throw uh, this in here to make dust. 
so I can make more seeds because yeah, this finished really quick. I'm so glad I made this. I wish I could have made it off camera just to prepare more off camera, but I wanted to save it for on camera. So we got the three of them and a leg spike. I'm not sure why. And that should be done now. So this is how you make the seeds if you're wondering. And this should actually make uh, two seeds each. So this will be a lot of certus. But uh, also one thing to note is that my ring of magnetism from uh, Batania does not pick up the seeds. So, yeah, but that's going to finish really quick. So I have a crafting bench over here, I believe. So if I go here and this, and I should have all this stuff. Oh, wait, it makes two each. So I actually didn't need to make that many. I could have just made uh, two crafts of them instead. But, okay, and it is not using my pure for this. Do not waste pure when you don't need to. That's uh, a very good tip for this. So you saw how slow it was before. So now if I just, uh... oh, that is how you make it. And... That's how quick it goes now, so isn't that awesome? Now I can just go like this and quickly make a bunch of these. Oh, it does work the other way around too. Neat. Okay, so we have a whole bunch of these. I'm making more of them because I know they're useful for other things. Or I think this is also what I need for the crafting terminal. I don't know exactly anyway. But we come here. Uh, is it really done already? I have a feeling that I... Oh, I picked up the seeds. Oh, 45%. I thought it was done already and they flew into my inventory, but not quite. So uh, I have the checklist here and uh, head back here. We made them, or made them, made them. So now we need the other stuff. And I don't know, I really don't have to do an exact order because pretty much the exact stuff I have on here is the same stuff I have my notes I usually use. So uh, yeah, let me just uh, review the answer real quick and decide what I want to do next. Okay, so I decided what I want to work on next. Also, it seems, uh, yeah, those are done. So I have a whole bunch of pure crystals now, which is insane, because these are supposed to be hard to make for, like, in the early game of applied energistics, I guess. Before you get this, it's so hard to make these, and now they're just so easy. Also, I want to, uh, throw this in here so I can make more silicon, because, uh, the dust, when smelted, turns into silicon, and I ran out. Oh, I also was smelting some more stone, because I don't have the auto stone thing anymore. Anyway. I need to make more of these, the ME terminals, because I need them not only for the crafting terminal, but the ME chests here, which I forgot about. So they need logic presses, illuminated panels, and uh, those weird things, the cores. So, which also need logic presses, huh? So pretty much I just need to make a lot of logic presses. So I did make the silicon here. And I think the other thing was, uh, that can't even go there when it has that. Interesting, because I think if I put that there now, it. Uh, logic is the one it needs. Logic. So now it accepts the gold. Yeah, now it accepts gold. So uh, I think what I need to do now is take, uh, honestly, let's just make 20 of them. So I'll make a whole bunch of the logic presses and work at that stuff. So, uh, yeah, pretty much a similar process to before. I will have to make these a bit manually. And, uh, there's all the silicon. So, uh, yeah, but for the moment, I can just make, uh, the one crafting terminal out of this one. And I knew I had my pickaxe here somewhere still. Okay, um, there we go. So we have uh, the ME terminal and the other things we need to make the crafting terminal, they're pretty simple. The only thing that was kind of holding me back was the Sirtis and I don't have any crafting tables left. I know I always had a few around because they always needed them for something. Like I do have the one there just for doing like uh, uh, unstable ingots and stuff, but I always like to keep a few crafting tables around because they always keep coming up. So uh, yeah, this is how you make a crafting terminal though. The uh, calculation press was what was holding me back last time because as you see, you know, it's mainly just the pure service quartz because that was a pain before I got the growth accelerators. And the funny thing is the growth accelerators really weren't that hard to make. I don't remember them being hard to make anyway. What was the recipe again? Uh, I think I might have just messed up stuff. I don't know. <laughs> I was trying to use the Walio stuff, but that's on the number pad. I don't know how to use that as well. Anyway, uh, forgetting those little uh, hiccups there ever happened. Okay, and, and, okay, so now I have the crafting grid here, so it's pretty much just an upgrade. Now, the thing is, um, I need to make these for every single floor of the tower, probably even more than that. So pretty much every floor of the tower needs to have a crafting terminal, and at least a terminal or a crafting terminal, and maybe multiple, depending on how big the floor is and how many sides of the room will need it, because I don't want to have to always run to one side of the room, too. Like, on the tech floor, I might want it on all sides of the room. I don't know. Okay, so we got that. 
And you had to, yeah, you had to remove the press, it seems, to even put in the other stuff, which is interesting. I didn't think it would actually do that. So now we do like that. And, uh, yeah, I think I'm just going to cut until I get the stuff. And, uh, because I need a lot of it to make the, oh, M.A. chest. That was kind of silly. I just put in chest. Uh, yeah, I'll just make a bunch of this and cut to when I have it. Okay, so I just finished uh, getting a whole bunch of supplies right, to make some more of these uh, cores and the panels. So I think I'm going to just make four of these for now. And like I said, I'll have to make a lot of these off camera to make all the stuff. But I think for now four is good enough because I just want to try and make this and change. There we go. Oh, I need normal glass. Darn, I thought I had everything ready and got it all prepared, but nope. But uh, yeah, so yeah, <laughs> don't have that much more to say than that. So now we can make the ME chest, which is what I was hoping to make, or spending a lot of time getting stuff ready to make. And uh, my inventory is just so full. I need to probably use a knapsack or something. Either way, uh, I think I can just sit it here and I'll check, connect. So this is where I can put a drive. And. Huh. Oh, I think this is just so you can use a drive as a chest. Or, like, put the drive in here and it connects to the network. I don't know, it's weird. Uh, I remember it doing something different in the older version. I think that might have been changed to the cell workbench. So, now let's look up cell workbench. Uh, cell workbench and essential cell workbench. That's the one we need. That's actually a lot simpler. Or more simple. So, I'll need a chest and some wool. And, uh, yeah, I think I can just throw some of this stuff. I'll throw the presses in there for the moment. And, uh, how about this stuff as well? Because I'm not currently using it. And so, uh, let's see, I need to grab wool. I did also organize these chests a bit, like, try and uh, get rid of junk items I wasn't using. Like, I converted all the wool back into normal wool, or most of it anyway. And the other thing I need was a chest, which I do have a lot of. So, uh, yeah. And I actually can just do this here. And there we go. So now let's take this back over here and check it out. So, uh, yeah, cell workbench. I'm not sure if it needs to connect to stuff. Uh... Does not look like it. Okay, so this is more like what I'm thinking of. And, oh, if I open the chest now, it looks like, uh... Oh, does, is it just from the top? Oh, that's interesting. It's just from the top. So I guess I could even place, it like, a panel here. And so it is like I remember it. So I put this in here and click from the top. It works a lot like uh, this does. So it's just, like, an Emmy system. But in... Oh, that's is kind of cool. So I put this here, though. Uh, I can modify cells a lot better. So, uh, yeah, um, pretty much this is how you can help configure them to say, like, only cobble go in this one and stuff, or, I don't know, it's a lot more complex than I can really experiment now on video, but pretty much this is how I can help, uh, sort stuff to make sure it goes where it needs to go. So if I do make like a 64k drive, I can make sure only certain items go on it and that it's just not filled up with a whole bunch of random stuff and only the items I need the 64k drive for. Probably stuff like cobble, but yeah. So uh, let's actually look at this. And I made that, that, and that. I'm holding off on storage sales for the moment and I guess import bus is the next thing I want to do. So let's search in... Import. Okay, so, uh, import bus. That is also pretty simple. There is also the fluid import bus and the import bus. There's the export bus as well. And, oh, that's from extra cells because that's as that. So, uh, sticky piston and annihilation core. I should still have an annihilation core in here, actually. Yes, I do. Okay, so, uh, we can make this real quick. But, uh, yeah, pretty much what this does, again, because I think I said it earlier, and I do not see a sticky piston, so I'm just going to have to make one. If I missed one, uh, sorry, but I did not see it. And also, I have so many enderpearls now. Okay, so like this, and like this, and like that. Okay, so what this does is it will import stuff into the ME system. Uh, I guess this is the easiest way to so show you. So I have that stuff in there. If I connect that, and... Uh, I guess I need to have a one above. There we go. So I can right click it and it has the stuff and oh, so it should have all, yeah, it imports the stuff in. I should be able to upgrade it with the cards like this. So if I grab the acceleration cards, I should be able to actually throw them in here and this will make it move faster. So now if I grab this back out and go into here, yeah, it goes like instantly now. So that's what that does. So pretty much if I have a chest, uh, pretty or what I really wanted it for was, uh, I'll just put that there for now. Okay, so it does use like forge micro blocks, I guess. Uh, I did not know that. So 
Okay, making good progress. or getting through this stuff pretty quickly. I know there's probably a decent bit of cuts and it hasn't been that too long in the episode. Probably decently long. I don't know. So, uh... Controller. Well, that's the ME controller, and it needs pure fluix around an engineering processor with Skystone blocks. So this is where Skystone really comes into play, as well as getting the ins uh, inscriptions. But, uh, I don't know, personally, I'm not a huge fan of the Skystone stuff. Anyway, so pretty much uh, the export bus is going to replace this in the ME system. So I can have this chest, I have an export bus connect to it, and it'll instantly pipe out all the items I put in there to the ME system. So when I set up a quarry, it should easily be able to get all the stuff moved in there. So, yeah. So, uh, Skystone blocks. Uh, I do have Skystone. So, how do I make Skystone blocks? I think I need to smelt it. Yeah. Okay, so I just made the engineering processor I need. So, now I should have all the parts to make the ME controller and see what this is. I actually have not made one of these in this version of Minecraft anyway. I know in the other uh, version, or the pretty much in 1.6, it worked a lot differently. Like, this was required to make an ME system. Now it's not. So, okay. So, this used to just be like you monitor everything through it. Now it apparently works a lot differently. I can't see much, but it's connected and uh, yeah, because pretty much before you need like this, the drive and the terminal to really use it. Now you just need this or the other stuff. So now I can have more things connected to the network. Uh, I'm not sure if I actually hit a limit before now, but pretty much you only can have nine without a controller, I believe. So if I actually were to remove this, uh, I'm not sure if some of these would lose power or anything. I don't know, I have a decent bit connected, so now I don't need to worry about having too many. I think I can have more than one controller. I'm not sure. You might, it might be unlimited. It might just add a few. It might just be like only one controller per network. Uh, either way, I can't seem to interact with it. So not much to really show there besides, yeah, I made the controller. So, uh, well, I'm going through this stuff a lot more quickly than I expected, to be honest. So, uh, I guess we have to go now to the hardest part, the storage cells. So pretty much you take this and you craft it with... Uh, there is another recipe, I think, too, for... Uh, let me just search it. Housing, it's called. Oh, there's a bit of lag there, but here it is. Uh, ME, store, ME storage housing. So pretty much this is the easy way to make them, I guess. So uh, actually, I actually might just make a few of these right now. Because it's just a lot simpler to do this. So I'll just make two, because that's all I can make at the moment. But pretty much, instead of having to go through the whole process, I just take a storage component and craft it with the housing to make it. So, yes, but before, it would be like that, and pretty much it just was like, you get the cell, which requires more cells. So, this is just crapped with that and skips uh, that recipe around it. So, yeah, and holy crap, there's a higher cell. I did not remember extra utilities out of this. Wow, that's expensive, but pretty much every cell requires three of the previous to your cells, which is why this gets so expensive, and oh my god, it keeps going. Uh... That is a very high storage, and oh, I probably should explain a bit how the storage works. Um, you can, as you see there, you only can store 63 different types of items, but items are measured in bytes, which is pretty much how big the stack is. So I forget exactly how it works, but uh, pretty much that can only hold 63 different types of blocks, but it could hold a lot of the individual types. Like, I think you could have... I think that's 16 million of a single stack of item, or 16 million items, but only have 63 different types. I might, I forget if it's one byte per item, or not. Anyway, so yeah, that would hold an insane amount. As you see, the progression here is uh, rather costly, so this is just the first one. I need a logic processor, and certus quartz, and redstone, so I need a ton of certus quartz for this, and a ton of logic processors, so... You know what, honestly, I think I might just make this off camera rather than do a whole bunch now, because if you wanted me to, I could, uh, let's see, uses, oops, uh, definitely do not want to waste, uh, pure certus on this, or even charged, ooh, I need to grab normal certus, uh, hey, yeah, that would be how I make it, uh, let me just, uh, certus, 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 there we go, so yeah, but I'll need a ton of certus quartz to do this, and it's just like this. So, I have a whole bunch of 1s there, and now I want to upgrade them to 4s. It would be like this with logic processes, which I think I do have. So now I can make that, and now I can go like, and I think I do have everything there but the diamond one. I need to make another diamond one, which is engineering and a diamond. Okay, and then move that there, uh, that there, and I'm out of redstone. That's embarrassing. <laughs> 
But you get the point. It's pretty much just a very tedious process that is probably not something I'd really want to do on an episode or in an episode, however you want to phrase it. Uh, I can just move that there so I don't really have to put it away at the moment. There we go. Jump back over here and get that. Okay, so now I can go and go here and like this and ta-da. So I got 116k out of all that quartz it took. So it took uh, 116 day was 3, 4. So that was a total of 9 of these. So 9 times 4. That's how many stars it took. And 9 logic processors. So you see why these are kind of uh, costly. And I forget if you can actually just uh, craft them back out. Let me look actually. So if I crafted this. Uh, yeah, I cannot uncraft this. Can I? Yeah, I, it isn't showing me a usage for it. So... I think if I craft this, it's kind of stuck as a 16K. So I would not be able to upgrade it further. So I don't know. But a 16K, honestly, is probably plenty. Like like I said, um, probably should go back here. It can only hold 63 different types of items. So that's probably good enough. Honestly, I think I'll just uh, do this now and I can plug it in here. Ta-da. So yeah, pretty much 4Ks I think are like the most ideal because uh, uh, recipe... Uh, usage, usage, there we go, 4k, because, you know, that's, uh, 4,000 items of 63 different types, so somewhere between 4k and 16k is probably what I'll aim for, because, uh, jumping up to the 64k, it's just a lot more certus, really, it's actually the same recipe, isn't it? Engineering processor and quartz, engineering processor and quartz, so it is, and it then jumps up to, uh, huh, what was that earlier one again? So it went from, a uh, quartz glass to, uh, a logic processor, but I don't know. They really don't get too much more costly. It's just the combination of needing so many more of the smaller cells and all the quartz it needs. So, uh, yeah, but I will be working on that more off camera. And uh, I technically did do that this episode. And uh, I think I am actually going to wrap up this episode here because the wireless stuff isn't that big of a deal. Uh, the switch monitors is something I more plan to do off camera anyway. So, uh, yeah, and the portable cell. And let me actually just look up a wireless and what portable cell I can do real quick first. Uh, pour it out. There we go. So down here is the portable cell. So it's pretty much an ME uh, energy cell, uh, storage component, and an ME chest. So I don't know. I might make that off camera. I might save that for another episode. Uh, the networking device was the other one. Networking tool, which is uh, actually just a panel, a calculation press, and a wrench. So it's pretty much just like an upgraded wrench for this stuff. Uh, wireless was the other one. So the wireless is a bit more complicated. You need a wireless terminal, a wireless receiver, uh, wireless boosters extend the range, also use enderpearl dust, and uh, a wireless access point is the thing you actually need to make. So that's how you make that. That's where the Fluix pearls come in, I believe. So there is also a fluid tr terminal and a central terminal too, because I have the add-ons for fluid and uh, thomcraft. That stuff will get into way down the line probably, not anytime soon. So, I don't know, this is stuff I could just make off camera or save for another episode. I don't know, let me know what you guys would even prefer. But, uh, oh, and storage monitors was the other thing I didn't look up. So, uh, storage monitor. So, storage monitor is, uh, just a level emitter and a dark illuminate panel, which is actually just an illuminated panel. Interesting. And a level emitter is calculation press and redstone torch. But pretty much, I could say, like, show me all the diamonds in my ME system and have a little panel showing diamonds and how many I have. So it's cool just to, like, a show-off thing. So when I do build um, Applied Energistics floor in the tower, ME system floor, whatever you want to call it, I can have a whole bunch of those panels around just to kind of, like, see every the status of things. I don't know. That's what I did back in a Frostfire FTB. It looked kind of cool. So I might do the same for this. I'm not sure. But, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to wind down the episode here just to make sure it's a reasonable length. I don't think the cuts in this were too long, so it probably has a good amount of just, uh, me crafting stuff already. So, uh, yeah, and I think I'm just going to throw all this stuff in here and worry about it sorting later. Let's see. Not that bad. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, once again, I like to just say, or anyway, uh, thank you all for watching and uh, hopefully enjoyed this episode and until next time, goodbye. Yeah, that's what I was going for. So yeah, bye.